All right, guys, so we're back. Hey, everybody. Today we have a Latvian ration. So these actually have been pretty good in the past. Right. Um, these are single meal rations. Particular one is menu field ration NR5, menu five. And we have meat with vegetables, with rye bread, uh, porridge with strawberries. Um, Bonita mint candies. We'll read it all. We'll save a little right, bit for yeah. surprise. Save it, right. it sounds good though, meat and vegetables. So. Down here we have an expiration date of 4 2022 so it's about a month out. Uh, not even a whole month. And it should be pretty interesting. Actually, I'm pretty excited about it. And I think by all expectations, the rye bread should still be good as long as it's sealed correctly. And you got this one a while back on eBay, correct? This was an eBay purchase. Okay. I bought two of these. Oh, boy. I think it was out of Lithuania. It took forever for him to get here. It took a month and a half. Wow. Uh, they were cheap. They were real cheap. It was like 50 bucks or two of them. Hmm. So it is what it is. These are probably pretty difficult to buy right now amongst everything else. And if you happen to see one pop up here in the States, they're pretty hard to come by. So, there's the whole works right there. And, well, as bit stove, we have our uh, meat with vegetables. Gala R. They're not trying to pronounce know. that. You'll oh, yeah. get in trouble. It is a very generic looking label on it, to be honest with you. And the expiration is right on top. It says 5-27-2022, so this is still on date. Um, wanna, what's the status of her bread here? Does she look moldy? Um, no, actually it looks it looks pretty good. It feels like soft, so I think it's pretty good. It does, doesn't it? Yep, it's fresh. Kind of like a piece of rubber. Here's our little Esbit stove. stove here. Is there anything interesting in that package? Um, I think there's a pack of magnets. Let's see here. We have some almonds, 50 grams of almonds. That's kind of neat. Yeah, very interesting. Here we have, what is this? This is our rice poured to strawberries. This is our candies. Oh, there's two packs, I was like, what the heck, but it's one's candies. Boy, that's, this one's a little fishy. Look how yellow fishy. those are. Yep. Show them how yellow those are. Man. I say something on them, I can't read it. What's going on here? Okay, I see. I see. But the bag is ripped, but it's not. Next up, a little coffee. Got four Nest Cafes. These are not three in one. These are double filter, full flavor classic. Mm. Here we have a big pack of sugar, because you always need that a big, pack, a big of sugar. pack of sugar. We have another big pack of sugar. Think about this though, all the sugar, I mean, what are you gonna put, I guess the porridge, right? Maybe. Yeah. But still, it's a lot of sugar. Uh, here we have a Lipton green tea citrus uh, tea bag. We have a Turbo Extreme. It says new soft bubble gum, Turbo Extreme, all English on it, by the way. I've never seen uh, gum in that wrapper before. Right. But hey, it's first time for everything. Lemon fresh wipe. Yep. And we got spoon. Spoon's a little bit to be desired. Wasn't the last one busted up or something? I don't remember. Yeah, apricot I'm jam. Actually... This one doesn't have any holes in it, so let's get it looks like it almost has holes in it. And that and is honey. Honey. Okay. Nice little addition for a bread. Right. So without any further ado, let's get a Esbit stove. Okay. Um we need to get a little bit of hot water for that porridge. We'll be right back. All right, so we got the water heating up. You hear in the background, our Esbit stove. A little something like that, probably. Let's give her a test. Give her a test run before we go any further. You, you could take that up with whenever it's done, so it's well, not so hot. <laughs> that's debatable. That's debatable at this point. We'll find something. Fair pliers or something, right? I like to just like fumble around, like knock it over so it goes everywhere. <laughs> All right, we're gonna use Esbit so that came with it with her yellowish, fishy smelling tablets. Yep. Hopefully, whenever you open it up, it's not gonna be really fishy. Well. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, I definitely know, smells like that, that shrimp we made the other day. Yep. It was like a dead fish hanging out down at the side of the river mm. on a hot summer day. Okay, so the flame is, what, probably five inches high? Just burn it up quick. Let's see this, pop this open. Might have to uh, borrow some of these fuel tabs to take camping. Kind of cool. Jeez. Oh, don't spill it. <laughs> I'm not exactly some little Bambi either, and I can barely get that open. <laughs> there we go. What smell? It's like your typical it smells like Eastern Europe. A typical can stew or something, yeah. One thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull this off of here. Catch that on fire, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So I think we leave this on. Oh yeah, there you go. You can Perfect. Perfection. Alright, so let's keep going here. We got a couple things to cut open. We have bread. My knife is. Alright. So everything's still sealed pretty good the how thick this is mm -hmm. the plastic on it that's what saves the bread i mean it's dark rye yeah as one guy said it's pumpernickel i said watch your mouth <laughs> so rip that out and the only way to get this correct is i'll pull this out of here we're just gonna have to flay it down like a fish right I'm not cutting toward myself like you guys taught me, but mm. this will suffice. We'll have to stir that up in a little bit, I guess. Bubbling around the sides, make sure the middle's nice and warm. Yep. I'm confident that's going to be good. It's a very, very dark bread. Yeah. You can see there the other side of that. Okay. So next up, it's all it's like sticky. It's <laughs> very sticky. Uh, the, Next up, uh, our rice porridge, our hot water is done, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to grab a bowl here for our porridge. We'll make a porridge up. Amanda wants to rip that open, throw that in there. And then our cups, a couple cups out here. And we got to make Phillips Dine of no coffee. Looks like rice. Well, it is rice. That's why. Mm -hmm. Rice porridge. Let's put a little bit of this in here. Yeah, rice, 65% rice, 417.4% rice flour. Just sitting there, just a couple seconds, you can see it all suck that water up. I'm not gonna go too Hopefully wild that on that. Not melt. Ooh, that's pretty hot on that plastic. They're microwave proof bowls, so I don't know, we'll see. Might you let that sit for a minute, yep. actually. Ooh, let's stir that up. Well, I don't know. If I don't know, stirring it up uh, is quite Just in our... Poke a hole in the middle so it kind of gets... I'll get an idea here. Let's go off here. And let's stir it up over here. Fuel tab looks like a campfire marshmallow. <laughs> well, I'm sure it probably tastes just like one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm back on the fire with that. I'll put our spoon over here. Okay, so this is just boiling. It was kind of getting everywhere, so we pulled it off of there. Actually, before we even dump that out, let's go make some drinks real quick. One, of course, being our citrus green tea. It smells good. Okay. A little citrusy kind of smell to it. We'll blast that in there. A little bit of this in here. Too bad there wasn't two of them in there. I'd take one home and make a cold brew. Oh, no. <laughs> Get your spoon out. Fuel tab's done. Cold brew? Yeah. Like Not, cold tea. Well, I, mean, I, could, I could drink cold tea, but... I guess you put all that sugar between the... Still, you wouldn't use it all, though, between the tea and the <laughs> no, porridge. That's, that's a... Absolutely absurd amount of sugar. Yeah, it is. Uh, next up, let's go into the coffee real quick, and they're ready to do our main. 
Look at the bread did to my knife. <laughs> I got it all gooey. Hey, you got a moist lemon towelette over there. Wipe my knife off of that. Mm -hmm. All right, it's all the coffee out. It is not all out. Now instead of for freeze, instead of freeze dry, it looks like it's more of an instant coffee. It's more, a lot more finer granules, yeah. It smells like instant too. Yep. It's gonna be hot enough for you. <laughs> Burn your face off. We'll uh, put that back here just for a little bit until she vents off a little bit. We'll set it back out of the way so we'll get goo on it. Okay, so next up is our main dish. Can we Let's get... be careful there. Let's can see. we get this in there? Don't splash any in the Phillips coffee there. I'm trying to... <laughs> it's a difficult one. You can tell it definitely is hot. I, I like the taste of all that canned uh, beef like that in these meals. Okay. To the trash can? That may melt the trash can bag. I was going to say, you just threw that into the trash can and it's raging hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to melt the trash bag, Nathan. I'll fix it. We're going to check on our tea. Oh, we let it steep too long. It's that real acidic, nasty kind of taste Oops, to it. Spit a, little. spit a little bit. Down the back, yeah. It's all right. Chuck that over there. We're done with that. So let's get Amanda a spoon. I mean, you can use this really flimsy, bendy one, but uh, no, I'll take a good one. it's kind of weird. So is it cabbage or is it onions in it? Look at that piece of uh, stuff there. Fat? Oh, it's good stuff. Um, I don't know if it's cabbage or onions. It'd be all right if it's onions. Just let's take it. Mm. Onions. They're cooked down so much, though, it's hard to... But that beef just totally disintegrates your mouth. It's it's good. Probably the most tenderest beef we oh ever... Oh, my God. I love this kind of beef in the can in these meals. I hope you're going to try some. I'll bring it over to you. I know. I've already said that before. See, as Mandy gets her shovel in her face there. I know. It's so good. <laughs> there you go. Probably fairly hot. It's got a tomato, like, vegetable soup base to it. Yep. Okay. So mm. next up, what do you think? Super, super tender. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah, it is awesome. Let's, um, well, we could do these right here. So let's go into our apricot jam. Actually, I want to try one thing. I want to break off a little piece of this bread and dip it in that juice of that. This is good. Mm. Looks dried up, don't it? Doesn't smell Ooh, good. Apricot, uh Mm. You have to try that. Put some bread in that juice. It's good. Is that the way it's supposed to look? Is that package? It's not punctured or anything, right? No. no. Not good? It's just like real dry. It seems really dark. Like it's, I don't know. Yeah. It's definitely probably on its way out. It's almost like a apple butter, like an apricot apple butter. Try that, that honey. We know the honey's gonna be good. There's no question about that. A little bit lumpy. A little getting crystallized already. See that that bread? That's not my favorite bread at all. It's so like bitter. Break a little piece of it off. Watch your fingers. Yep. If I get sticky, I'll use my lemon towelette. So, so <laughs> thick. Mm. That honey has like granules of sugar in it. Yeah, it's just getting, mm -hmm. that's what honey gets. Sad to say it still doesn't help the bread. The bread's still nasty to me. The bread's a very acquired taste. Mm -hmm. Very acquired. Yeah. Hey, 
and check yourself with the knife? No, I thought I'd cut these piece up on my hand. The balls, that looks like these are probably unroasted, unsalted. Not bad. Yeah, no salt at all, but it's all right. Hmm. These are mints. Might want to do that last. Or caramel. Bonds Beta mints. Oh. These are the ones in the chocolate. Oh, okay. Before you do They're that, the same kind. Yeah, let's let's do that first. This up got thick Starting again. To get thick, yeah. No flavor. No, I, I taste the strawberry flavor, but it's actually good. Like probably just a little bit of sugar on there, but the consistency is like perfect. That was way too dry, wasn't it? No, I thought it was perfect. A little more water with it. Kind of like drywall mud. I guess I'm used to eating like oatmeal. It's kind of weird for me to eat uh, like rice porridge. Holy cow. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh. You're going to have to make a dentist appointment after that one. It probably needs more than that. Holy shit, Nathan. God. Okay. That was. Oh, because there's sugar on here. I know. Builds right there. I know. A lot of sugar. I can hear like the, the sugar like going against each other. His poor little ears never heard such. The such sugar language. is crunching in my teeth now. That's about the right amount of sugar though. Really? A little bit too much for me. I think so? I thought it was fine before. But... What do you think? It doesn't have a lot. Of, it's not a very flavorful rice. Right. It's just not that way. It's pretty good. All right. Our... Don't forget about your tea though. Nobody else here is going to drink this. I'll get a little. Looks like a cough drop. Oh, man. I'm not a mint fan, so I'm going to oh. spit spitting this oh, out. I thought it was a chocolate one, so I'll let uh -uh. you eat it then. then. So I'm going to try some of this on the bread. Mm. Break a little piece. Very, not like real, real strong, but just enough mint taste where, yeah, it tastes like you're sucking on a cough drop. <laughs> I've had those before. It has like eucalyptus in them, mm -hmm. and it's like a cough drop. Mm. I thought it was the chocolate ones they had last time. Mm. What's going on back here? A little shredding the bread up a million pieces. throw that in the trash. Look like a rat chewed on it. You ready? Definitely got fresh minty breath now, that's for sure, but. Right. So Amanda's gonna try the turbo gum. Turbo Extreme. Soft bubble gum. And the tea is actually uh, very citrusy. It's actually really good. Oh, hell. So Philip, what do you think about the bread? Uh, it's very bitter. With yeah. the honey, it's very good. Yeah. It's like a contrasting flavor. Gum is so soft. It actually is good. Flavor probably lasts about two minutes, but okay. Here's your uh, twilight. I'm not so gonna get on the bread. It'll just drip all over the place. That's kind of weird. If you want to wipe your knife off. Here. How was the mint? You ate the mint, and the camera died. Oh, the mint is it's too strong. It tastes too much like a cough drop. So I was thinking it was a chocolate peppermint ones, mm -mm. like I had before. But that's definitely not it. So we actually had, um, I've had these before. It does, are these eucalyptus or what's the mm. situation of it? You can tell it tastes like cough drop. It just says, yeah, kind of a minty, but a different kind of minty. It might have eucalyptus in it. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Overall, what'd you rank this whole meal? I pretty much liked everything except for the, I mean, I know the mince is kind of a nice little touch. Here's the thing. I used to hate this bread. Mm -hmm. After having it probably three or four times, I'm actually going where I like it more. It does need to have something on it, though. I do like the way they package it. Now, this meat is like a 10 out of 10. It is awesome. This rice pudding was not bad either. After I blasted a bunch of sugar on it. <laughs> well, Tea that. was good. Everything was good. That's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Um, Latvian, mm -hmm. mini number five. Still smacking on the gum over here. <laughs> um, actually, pretty decent. Yeah. All right. So. Stay tuned and uh, for a lot more videos. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you all very soon.